Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Hello Cancerians, this is your bonus readings. And this round, you just so happen to be the last sign. And then, once I'm done doing Cancerians, we can do January readings. First card's the Four of Cups, unsatisfied, <clears throat> dissatisfied. <coughs> Someone's unhappy. This looks like a couple where there's a masculine and a feminine. Don't get me wrong, it could be swapped, but that's the way it's coming across for me. Where someone here doesn't have a lot of passion and someone here does because the king of wands can be really aggressive a leader very passionate the boss and this four of cups energy sort of just like they're indifferent <coughs> they're not really motivated so you have two energies here where one person is very motivated and another one isn't. Now, for some of you, this can be two different people that you are entertaining, that you know. Sorry, it's like like totally late at night and my eyes are just, my eyelashes are hanging on by thread, honey. Um, this could be two different people where you have one person that you've been entertaining and they've been indifferent. They've been not very motivated, not very aggressive, not very anything. And then you have another person who's very aggressive. They're a go-getter, they're, they're, you know, really inspired. It's very opposite energies. Oh, there's the emperor. See, that's a big dick energy. <clears throat> emperor is someone who's very aggressive. They're the go-getter. They go out and they get it done. Emperor can be Aries. <clears throat> it's zaddy. This is about taking control. There's one energy here that takes control. They're the leader, they're the boss. And then you have another energy that's just sort of like unmotivated completely. And for how that's gonna fit into your life, you put it where it belongs. Page of Pentacles, an offer. An offer you can't refuse. <clears throat> Someone makes you an offer you can't refuse, Five of Wands. It's an offer that is, it's a competing offer. So let's say you were dealing with one person here that wasn't doing any fucking thing. They were like a stick in the mud. And then someone new comes in and it's major fucking competition. It's major competition because this other person is doing all of the things that the other person didn't, if you know what I mean. They're doing all of the things the other one didn't do. You get an offer you can't refuse. The hanged man. Someone becomes enlightened. They see the light. Oh, see, taking that leap of faith with this fool. Got the knight of, excuse me, the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords. And someone says enough. I'm over it enough. This could also be a single person with the nine of pentacles. But with the full energy here, it's that leap of faith. Someone just jumps. That's that very aggressive, sort of fiery, motivated energy. They just jump. They take a leap and they just fucking go for it. It's an offer. Someone makes an offer. They take a leap. It's an offer you, I keep hearing it. It's an offer you can't refuse. An offer you can't refuse. Waiting? Some of you have been waiting for this other thing, other person. Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see, a big offer comes in. This could be an offer of commitment. You meet someone new, period, point blank. You meet someone new. 
you meet somebody who doesn't fuck around you meet somebody who is serious and they're sure about you and they're not afraid to take a chance and then you have someone else here who has been very afraid to take a chance they have been dare i say cowardly mm, king of swords and that eight of wands yeah there's some kind of message there's some kind of communication this communication feels too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Someone else already made an offer. Now, whether this is business and career or love related, you'll know the feather, freedom, strength, divinity. And the shooting star, make a wish. Someone here is not afraid to dream big. Someone here is not afraid to make wishes and to go after them and to chase their dreams. Someone's just a fucking go-getter. Someone just makes shit happen. You know what I mean? They, 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 they make it happen. There's something about a shooting star. Someone saw a shooting star locked gate see the other one just didn't open up it was a brick wall whatever opportunity whatever person this was something was a brick wall there was no access nothing happening something else comes in and there you have it blows the competition out of the water completely a new opportunity the umbrella Someone just didn't open up. Someone just wasn't accessible. Someone just wasn't, whether they weren't feeling it, I don't know. But locked gate and the umbrella, umbrella's about shelter, protection, hiding oneself. If the connection's not right, you can't open up fully. You ever hear that where people will say, I just felt like I could just tell them anything. I couldn't help it. I just felt so comfortable with them. See how it's just comfortable and easy when you don't even have to try because it's just the right fucking person. That's what this feels like. Be assertive. And one's very aggressive. Somebody here is very aggressive. If they want it, they go and they fucking get it. Success and yes, you're ready. Someone here is ready for something new. They're ready for this next part of their life, this next cycle. They're ready to take risks and be more adventurous. No, exclamation mark. Two different pages. You see that? Yes. No. Conflicting. Conflicting. Peaceful resolution. Someone might just bow out. It could. Perfect timing. Everything here is just so divinely orchestrated too. You have no again. You can't make it up. Yes, no. Yes, no. It's absolutely polar fucking opposite. Which in a lot of times can be really great, but that's not the case here because one person's just not opening up so so the no yes can be one's a yes one's a no somebody makes you a pretty big fucking offer it's quite substantial it's an offer you can't refuse friendship so kind of a connection to friends they feel like a friend decisions out with the old, in with the new. Stay, go. Yes, no. Release. Uh, somebody's ass getting booted. Somebody's ass is definitely getting booted. They get cut out. Remember that Queen of Swords energy. They get cut the fuck out. Secret admirer and go with the flow. Whoever this secret admirer was in the past, and maybe they didn't just do it, anything, they come forward. 
For some of you, it's the opposite. It's the secret admirer all this time that you felt and you know, oh my God, but they never did shit. One says yes, one says no. One doesn't do anything. One comes very aggressive full throttle. Something is revealed. That could be the secret admirer. The secret admirer could finally be revealed. They finally make some sort of move, but they make the offer you can't refuse. But let's say it's not the secret admirer. Let's say they never come forward. What's revealed is another option. You get an offer either way. You get an offer you can't refuse. But there's a decision to make here because the decision is, do I go with the flow and stay like this of whatever situation it is? Or is there some sort of, it's like, you got to take a leap of faith. If they take a leap. You do too. An unexpected arrival and soulmate. Yeah. It's a very unexpected arrival. Some of you meet a soulmate through a friend. Maybe you realize that your friend is your soulmate. Maybe you guys start off just as friends when you first meet and then you realize, I just met this person and we've literally told each other everything. I know them better than the person I've been with for five years. Funny how that happens. Melancholy and travel. Two different pages because I feel like one loves to travel, one's very adventurous, the other one is not. So someone here could be very introverted. The other one could be very extroverted. And again, sometimes opposites are opposites track. Sometimes opposites are it. It doesn't feel like that in this case. It feels like they're just not on the same page. And then they meet someone else who is. Isolation. Someone felt alone. They felt like they were out to fend for themselves secret lover. Someone here may have fantasized about other people. Fantas not necessarily other people, but like fantasize what it would be like to have a fucking wonderful, mutual, healthy relationship. <clears throat> a free spirit. Someone's just ready to let go. Ready to like be more adventurous. Do fun things, you know, step outside their comfort zone. And this other one here is so overly protective and protective of, excuse me, introverted and protective of their energy. They don't want to do any of those things. They want to stay home. Mysterious. An enigma. Forbidden. Ooh, someone could be in a relationship. Intensity, it's an intense fucking connection. How is it that this stranger and me feel so connected? Full bloom, someone just fully opens up. They feel like they can fully open up with this person. There's no inhibitions. Reminiscing, I wish some nights lasted forever. You, Someone wishes the conversation lasted longer. <clears throat> Anonymous, they keep it to themselves. Can't tell nobody. God, this is a juicy fucking reading, and that's not what I expected to have come through, but always expect the unexpected. Let's get into your extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video, the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. You're going to want to go to the first one. It's going to take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. Go to the extended readings and look for the Zodiac bonus section. On my website, on the main page, are tickets to my sixth in-person meet and greet, which is going to be in Nolens, bitch, okay? Sunday, March 24th. It's going to be a fucking blast, okay? This is for the feminines to get together and for us to meet and break bread and just meet in a very witchy, hoodoo, voodoo kind of an area. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, <clears throat> so yes, tickets are on sale there. And what else? That's it. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I'll see you in your extended Cancerians and Cross Watchers. Love you.